members of the administration, everybody, um, I just want to say it's an amazing honor for me to be able to be here with the Prime Minister of Albania, who just yesterday spoke at APAC and spoke about the amazing connection between Albania and the country of Israel. But not only it, I'm honored to be here just because of the connection between Albania and Israel, but it's also a connection between America and Albania because there are so many American citizens now who have been rescued by your country. So in, from our, my commission, which represents the president, I just want to say thank you on behalf of America. Um, in my short time of learning about how great the uh, Albanian people were to the Jewish people and to everybody that was saved during World War II, I actually have learned a little about the Prime Minister also and how you are preserving and looking to preserve even more in Albania. And from starting to want to build now a Holocaust Museum, which is going to be the same architect as the, uh, the museums in Israel, it just shows even the bond and you know the special bond that the United States has with uh, Israel. And now I hope, her at least on the cultural side and in many more ways, the United States will have on the heritage side with Albania. So I just wanted to say you know, it's an incredible honor you know, for us. This never would have really happened today without a meeting which happened yesterday between myself and Benjamin Newman, whose mother was actually saved and, you know, by the Albanians. Because his mother was saved, the United States now has uh, you know, probably a much better space program they would have, <laughs> they ever would have had. It is, uh, it is an amazing opportunity to, to, to be here, to thank you, to thank the whole country, because um, we have an uh, expression, it's not an expression, it's in the Jewish uh, Talmud. It says, um, uh, he who saves uh, one person, he saves the whole world. And you, there's a lot of explanations, a lot of interpretations of what that could apply to. But in our case, it's very clear that my mother was uh, a single child and uh, she had four kids because of you guys saved me. Excuse me. Her four kids had uh, 14 grandchildren, uh, so she had 14 grandchildren. And then she had 20 great-grandchildren while she was alive, and still two more, so 22. So you can see how one, saving one nation, saving one person is like saving the world. It is, um, it's not just NASA that is benefiting, it is the whole world. And, uh, and it, the whole world benefit from the many Jews that were saved, that were became at the, at the uh, uh, graciousness of the King Zog and the whole country to accept them and, and do the amazing things that they did to keep the uh, Nazis at bay. It was amazing and, and something else to say, but thank you and, and to recognize heroism at any opportunity is, is an important thing. People should learn from that. It's a big surprise for me because I was not supposed to be here today, but just in the way home, so uh, I'm very honored and very humbled again to have this uh, big uh, gesture from your side and the president and all of you. And at the same time, I strongly believe that uh, this um, shining page of our history is something we need to preserve and to do whatever we can that uh, the next generations uh, be aware of it because uh, it's really a stunning example and it's really a fantastic heritage for us and um, it somehow shapes us as we are and as we should be. And it's amazing what uh, has happened. Uh, there are incredible episodes, incredible stories. I think whatever the budget of our film industry is, Steven Spielberg has never ever been jobless in Albania because there are so many episodes, and I was just uh, telling before an incredible story of uh, the hospital in Pristina, in Kosovo, uh, 
uh, which at that time was um, was uh, territory uh, where uh, the Nazis sent a special expedition to uh, capture all male Jews. And uh, the director of the hospital was uh, a guy from Lucia, South Albania. And he had this incredible idea to send home all the patients and to bring to the hospital all male Jews that were living in the city and to exhibit around the hospital uh, banners saying don't approach deadly epidemic virus and uh, the Nazis were totally misled but what is stunning is that no one from the patients or the families that were obliged to get their people back home although they were sick didn't go to them to say that uh, uh, we were pushed out of the hospital because they are giving refuge to the Jews. And so no Jew was captured in this expedition. And there are many episodes like this. Even the government, that was a collaboration government, never accepted to negotiate anything with the Germans about the Jews. And because Albania was uh, recognized the so-called relative independence, the Germans all the time postponed. And uh, there is a report uh, about the final solution uh, where it is written very clearly that in all countries that they were present, the final solution was agreed with, uh, with the governments that were representing them. And uh, uh, in one of the paragraphs it's written that for the moment the Albanian case will be postponed for, a, for another time. So the final solution was not agreed. Uh, so it's... Uh, and uh, uh, we are engaged in this uh, project to build this uh, center, which will be uh, very particular because it will not be the typical Jewish cultural center. It will be a center that will have also inside both the the history of uh, the Jew salvation uh, and also the, the very torturous history of religious coexistence because of the fact that we passed through communism uh, a nightmare of God ban and religious uh, religion ban and uh, a lot of uh, persecutions and blasts and tortures against all religions. And uh, I think this can be really living together in space in a very unique way. We have engaged Daniel Libeskind to do the project. And the dream is first to start and make the project happen in Tirana, where it's really in the heart of the city. And then uh, possibly have a twin of this, of this space in Jerusalem where uh, everyone can visit and see how Muslims and Christians and Orthodox and Catholics and Sunnis and Bektashis all together they, they saved Jews and they did it uh, uniformly. There is no one case and this is the stunning thing. There is no one case of an Albanian going to the Nazis and uh, releasing information about Jews. And many of them were hidden under Muslim identity, adopted by Muslim families, like the uncle that came to visit, others under Catholic identity, baptized uh, by bypassing all process procedures of catechism. And uh, so it's a great history. And it's, as I said, it's, uh, it, this is the most stunning, but it's the fourth. This is the first century, 15th century, 17th century. And we have even 
even cities, little cities of today that were created by Jews. Jericho, we had Jericho in Albania, in the south. A uh, little city which is now Oricum, it was, uh, it was a Jewish settlement and they created their, their city. And this, in this report that uh, is in the Hebrew University uh, of this missionary sent by him from here, uh, Alton, he wrote that by no means we should uh, no doubt that this country, meaning Albania, can be considered a reserve homeland for the Jewish people. Thank you, but in this day and age, when there are other countries out there that are denying or trying not to accept the responsibility for what they did, you know, during the time of the Holocaust, I can only say, I think you should be proud of what they did and accept in the biggest of ways, you know, for every life that they said, it's the only country where there were more Jews before, after World War II than there were before World War II. And again, if you say from the United States of America, thank you, thank you, yeah. Well, accepting responsibility is much more difficult than accepting such a beautiful heritage. Presented to His Excellency Eddie Rana for extraordinary contribution to advancing the cause of Holocaust remembrance and suing historical truth and, prom and promoting cultural preservation of sites related to the heritage of American citizens. And thank you.